am back. Okay, so this is going to be a um, a tag video. I was tagged by um, late bloomer eleven. Am I right? Her name is Rebecca. You have to check her out. Oh yeah, I'm sorry if the background is very noisy. My brother is is having his fit right now. I don't know why, but he has it. So. Let's just begin. So this is the Filipino tag version 2. I've already done this, so maybe this is just going to be an updated version. I don't know. I want to make updated versions of videos. So yeah, let's begin! Yes, I live in the Philippines. I still live in Quezon City. I live in the same neighborhood that I grew up with. So if you know me personally, you would know where I live in Quezon City. There's a lot. Um, number one is we love rice. We literally eat rice all the time. As you can see from by my arms, like, I have big arms. Um, yeah, we like rice. We eat rice for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner, even on snacks. Like, uh, during merienda time, some people eat biko, which is made from rice cakes. So, yeah, or sticky rice. So, yeah. Uh, yes, we do own a karaoke machine. Um, as of what I've last checked, we have two karaoke machines. It's not the Magic Sing one. It's like those big, like, DVD player types. Um, we were planning on getting the Magic Sing, but then we've thought about it. Me and my brothers thought about it, and we're like, we can just sing using YouTube, right? We can just get the video from YouTube, then connect it to the television. Because my brothers are technicians. They know a lot about things that circulate about um, electricity, TV, whatever, they know it. So, you know, we own two, but it's not the magic sing type. Oh, God. <laughs> it says here, sing your favorite Filipino song. Yes, sing. So, if you girls know, I do sing cover songs, and I'm going to shoot this song, um, this song that I'm going to sing um, later on. It's from Lani Misalucha. That's one of my favorite songs. I have a lot of fam favorite Filipino songs. And the one that I like from Lani Misalucha is Bukas na lang kita, Bukas na lang kita mamahalin. And it goes like this. Bukas na lang kita mamahalin Subay sa paglaya ng ating mga pusa That's my favorite song. I like listening to that song a lot. So, yeah. I remember on my last, um, on my last tag, this kind of tag, I, I believe I said no. But, yeah, I remember I did. I've eaten balut before. And the weirdest thing is, when, when you first see it, actually, the moment that I saw the balut, the beak was, you know, out already. And I'm like, how the heck am I supposed to eat that? It's looking at me. It's looking, you know, we're having eye-to-eye -eye contact here. And one of my cousins and my dad always tell me that, you know, just close your eyes. Everyone says that. Close your eyes and just think that it's, um, what was that? It's popcorn. That was the one that my cousin taught me. Think of it as popcorn. When you pick it up, you put it in your mouth, you shoot it down. You don't chew on it. You just... And I was, like, scared because it's a big chick back then. And I, th I thought I would choke to death. But I didn't. You know, I, I didn't choke to death eating balut. And one of the things that I love about balut is the yellow part. I don't really like the chick. I don't like it. Seriously. I like eating chicken, but not that kind. I like fried chicken. I like grilled chicken, but not the one that I'm going to eat a whole chicken. It's nasty, to my opinion. 
there are a lot of things I love I love about being a Filipino. Um, number one is the unity of the family. Because here in the Philippines, even if you're 46, even if you're 16, you're 18, you're 96, you still live with your family. Or, in, you know, in other people's cases, you live in the same compound as your family. So, you know, that's, that's one thing that I noticed, is that the family sticks together through, through thick, and, thick and thin. Um, whatever happens, they will stick by you. Even if you screwed up so many times, even if they hate your guts, they will stick by you. That's for real because I have, um, you know, I have experienced a lot of, of things in my life. And my family is there for me. And I love that about it. I love that about being Filipino because I was in tr when I was in high school, I got into trouble. And, you know, the first thing a, a parent would say is that, why did you screw up? Seriously, my mom said that to me. Why did you screw up? What? You know, we gave you everything. Why? Why? And I said, I don't know. I'm a kid. I told my mom that I was like 14, 15, 16 years old. And I told her, I don't know. I'm a kid. Why do you ask me that question? And after that, she said, okay, we're going to deal this as an adult. You're turning into an adult by the minute. Because I, I, was, a, I was like... It was like my, my last years in high school. And my mom was like, Okay, because you screwed up, that's okay. That's fine. You know, it's a minor setback. We're just going to fix it together. And we're going to go through this together. And that's one thing I love about this. Because they stick by you if you screw up. If you did something bad, if you did something wrong. They will stick by you like a glue. That's a Filipino family for you. I think the, the Filipino time. That's the thing that I hate the most because I myself am, a, you know, I feel bad because of it. I feel bad because I've done, like I've, you know, done being late. I've done Filipino time so many times. And I, sometimes it's, it's very disrespectful, especially when it's a business deal. I try to make it as early as I can, and because now that I'm a blogger, I attend events, I try my best to be as early as I can, because I know I I know that the time is gold for PR managers and other bloggers, so I try to make it on time, but if I can't, I will say, I'm really sorry, I'm late. And I try to be as professional as possible about it. Even at work, before when I started working as an online teacher, I was a little late. Yeah, I, I was late a couple of times, but I, you know, I, I changed my game, and now I'm, you know, I'm kind of early for work. Like, there's still, like, 30 minutes left before my class start. I'm there at work. So, yeah, that's one thing I least, um, I least like about being a Filipino. We have our own time system. That's basically it. No, I don't. I don't know what it is about eating Goldilocks. I think Goldilocks is good. It's good to eat once in a while, but not every day. Because it's still fast food. Um, if you think about it, even if their food are Filipino food, like the the barbecue, the pancit palabok, the pancit malabon, um, everything is Filipino. It was made in the kitchen. You know, it's not deep fried or stuff, it's still fast food because some of it are ready made and some of it contain preservatives and you know I don't, I actually stay away from those now because I'm trying to lose weight and I eat Goldilocks only when there's an occasion basically I don't eat it on a regular basis because it will be bad for you I swear, it will be bad for you I do think so. I think I'm inseparable from them, especially my niece and my nephew. I adore them so much. Even if sometimes they're so, they're a handful, I love them to death. And that's the one thing I love the most about my family is because um, even if I, even if my nephew and my niece are a handful, my mom don't 
do bad things to them. Like she 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 scolds them, but she also nurtures them to be a better person. So yeah, I think I'm inseparable from my family because I think the longest that I was not with my family was one week. I stayed with my friend um, because of my thesis back two years ago or three years ago. And I was like, at night, I can sleep, but my head is like in my house here. And I'm like, what are they doing? Have they eaten dinner? Oh my god, did they... Did anyone touch my stuff? Did mom did do this? And then that? I was like that. I was paranoid to the point of no return. But I think I got over it because I grew up as a, a you know, I grew up a bit a much mature person um, when I got separated from them. And I think I'm more mature now because my dad taught me how to. Yes, my dad taught me how to because my dad is not with us right now. Like, he's not with us anymore. So, he basically taught everyone to stand on their own two feet without um, without being dependent on anyone else but yourself and your family, of course. Um, so, yeah, that's basically my answer. So, that's it for the Filipino tag version 2. I will be tagging some YouTubers below on the description bar, so please do go check out the, the description bar. And yeah, if you have any questions about um, what I'm wearing right now, what's my makeup and stuff like that, um, you can go below on the description bar. I'll put a link or the information on how I did this look. I'm going to post a tutorial actually, so make sure to watch out for it. Click subscribe above, and yeah, I'll talk to you guys next time. Have a nice and wonderful day. Bye.